Now I have some quantities on the board. Let's look at the categories. In the unit category, I have one to two units. So I'll go to my card and take two units. And my two units here, presenting two. In the tenth category, I have I have two tenths, so I'll go and take two tenths from the tenths category. I'll look for two tenths. So I have my two tenths. In the hundredth category, I have three hundredths. So I'll go to the hundredths category and look for three hundredths. So 300 to represent this quantity, uh, 300. In the thousands category, I have 2,000. So I go to the thousands card. It's a thousands card. I look for 2,000. Two thousand. In the 10,000 category, I have one, two, I have 4,000. So I go to 10,000 category, I look for 4,000. Four thousand. Four thousand. Now in the 100,000, this is four, Ten thousands, four ten thousands. So these are the ten thousands category. I have four ten thousands. Now in the hundred thousands category, there is none. There is no quantity there, so it's zero. Now in the millionth category, category, we have one million. So I go to the millionth category and I take one million card. So let's put our cards together. You remember the magic slide? Covering all the zeros. This is the 10,000 category. 10,000 category. Now, in the 100,000 category, there is nothing. So, this shows that there is nothing in the 100,000 category. So, how do I read this card? So you need two units, so I read it two and two hundred thirty-two thousand four hundred one million. Two and two hundred thirty-two thousand four hundred one million. Notice that. The decimal point, I call it as and, two and 232,401 million. So once again, as I said, notice that the decimal point is read as and. And this is the only time we say and in numbers. So the only time we say and in numbers is when we are reading it as decimal point. So two, two and 232,401 
401 million. So it's your own turn now to form quantities and get the corresponding cards in order to read those quantities.